Okie dokie. Hey, bro. I'm cool. Welcome back to So Dungeon 2. So, we're on level 40 in Dimension 1 in 44 minutes. Ah, welcome to the Unique Challenge, right? Where we're basically using one of everything, be it class or item. I can only ever use one and never duplicates, which makes it a little bit harder than usual. So it's going to be a funnish challenge. But just like this, we're already, you know, sinking our gold and just finding the correct comp since I can only run four people. So it's really impactful that we unlock everything. In fact, I don't see us actually doing the Dark Lord without getting every single, well, at least the Mystic and the Thief. So we can run six because it is just, it's so impactful to have enough HP to damage, right? Anyway, we've got Nurse, Miner, a little bit of healing. I, I don't think the progression is going too well, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to equip and then just start grinding. Oh, actually, we crafted stuff. That is actually super impactful because we have the sword, which is seven, but also a dagger with a ton of crit damage, which I think I'm going to actually put in the carpenter since the back attack is quite nice. And then you can have a sword and you can have a bottle. So everyone finally has a proper weapon because again no duplicates so even though i do i have no i don't actually have duplicates right if i had two wooden swords i can only use one wooden sword same with the dagger so it is really important that we craft stuff right i want a frying pan so i need to farm up that nice purple stuff well i think it's from 50 to 60 from what i remember either way let's let's just see if we can progress a little right current goals just floors and a thousand gold for the mystics but we're taking damage which is never a good thing especially on a single enemy room, so it looks like we're not really going to do well. Anyway, I'm going to grind up some gold, I guess, then. Yeah, so I'm not even getting past the ambush, right, which is level 44. My camera's actually blocking it. Maybe I should move to the left side. Is that a bit better? Actually, I can't remember what's on the home little area. Ah, can we... I think we can beat this guy before we get beat. It's not a ton of gold anyway, but I guess it's something. Yeah, and then we get KO'd. Do we get any good drops? Maybe a weapon? A weapon would be really nice. Nope, we got eggplant. I think I'm going to end up grinding gold. Yeah, it's, it's just going to have to be grinding gold. Anyway, higher, higher. Waste a ton, 64. Higher, higher. Usual setup. And yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the Mystic. Well, we did get to 1k. I just squeeze every last drop out. Also, right, I'm a little bit lower. So you can actually see the, the flaws. And I guess sort of the, the quest prompt. I think that should do. Oh God, no, should I make it? I should make it low enough. Okay, but now it blocks the town, so ah, whatever. Right, we have a K, not quite good enough. We need to sell some stuff. So again, any duplicates, I just want to sell off so I'm not tempted to equip them, right? I would like to use auto equip, which I can do if I if I make sure to sell off every single time and I only have to really worry about the trinkets. Plus it is extra gold, right? So the 100 is maybe our hiring cost, probably not though. I am going to, uh, no, bones I didn't want to sell off. We should get a lot more of them anyway. Same with the spectral draft. I shouldn't need them for this dimension, so I should be fine to sell them off. I need like 1.2, maybe a bit more, right? Iron, stone, there's some stuff we want to craft. Candles, I don't think ever have a recipe. Is there anything else that I can't remember if it has a recipe? Scales, I don't think ever come into use. Anyway, that should be enough. So mystics are super impactful because they have a huge amount of base damage. Right, so just having one of them even is significantly better than having everyone else. Now, do I take the chance? So it's 42 gold right now to reset. If I hire everyone, I doubt I can. Right, if we do that, yeah, it's now 108 gold and then I sell the miner. Was it worth it? Probably not, and I need 25 gold to actually hire him. But we have a full party, which is good. You know, I'm gonna sell the blue smithing crystal. Yeah, one's not helpful. Okay, so now we're a little bit different. I have to A, play on normal. Well, actually, we're running out of MP. I think that's a setup, right? Because we always want to cast. Or do we still want to always heal first? No, you know what? Heal first. Yeah. So the miner we're still going to use with the heal stone. And then the nurse can just have the stone of sight. Uh, the ring won't actually boost the magic damage of the mystic, right? There's a... It's like a baseline. I think they messed up the calculation, but you have to get to a certain amount before it actually becomes a crackle. Damn it, you can't see these characters. You know what? Maybe I should just turn the camera off. Anyway, the iron ring goes on the carpenter. The sojourn can sell the rock, right? And just go most damage. So that, that, that wooden sword, bottle, then go opposite for health, since they're the ones we want to keep alive. And then armor. Um, perfect. So everyone's around the 20. Damage rise is around the 10, should be much better, but 
And the main thing is we'll be able to show off the damage. Now, the quest-wise, I don't think I'm going to turn it in because I think this is a weapon and I'd much rather have it in the next dimension to try and speed up a little bit. But we go... Oh, okay, never mind. We sell and then we have enough gold. Having a the bone. One, one. Basically, you just need to keep one of everything to go to the next dimension, right? Because then you have the bag resourcefulness, which will allow you to you know, take everything with you. But there's our 40 gold. I need to... I didn't get it. Okay, so the Mystic is doing ta -da, 21 damage, right? So it's really impactful just to A, spread the damage a little bit. Don't know if that's enough. I feel like you do 16 from memory, right? I need to remember how much damage they do. That was a quick a crit though, because basically we just want to always be able to KO, especially in the three enemy rooms. But the Mystic, no matter what we're casting and we're basically just clearing 10 floors at a time, do the 10. And it should be 16. Okay, so it's 16 and 12. That's why I need to remember. So I can space out the damage and be fine. Actually, I need to hit there, I think. Right? Can you do 12? You can do 12. Okay, so we take a little damage, but it's fine. We do have our healing. Is it worth healing right now? Probably off the stone, not the nurses. On the mini boss, we definitely want to get the poison proc. Also, it's, it's just more damage than base. Still worth casting you know it's not worth casting yeah because it's a single enemy definitely want random portals right a warp or a mine shaft especially since we are running the miner now is pretty good put you either of you in range 12 perfect okay need to remember all the numbers no warp it's gonna be bad too oh no it's a full heal so because we got full heal we got the mp back which means we can probably do the next set as well you go there you go there and we should be able to clear the two right yeah 12 and 12. in fact i can't clear them we take a little bit of damage it's fine now we can heal up the boss is super easy for whatever reason he has lower hp than everyone normally oh oh i don't know if we can do this yeah we can't without the back damage slight misplay because now i have to heal up an extra time but we should be able to do the boss before he damages us. Yeah, so 56, right? In fact, I'm just going to normal swing. 48. Do the 20 plus damage. Oh, we need a crit. No, we didn't need a crit. It was 15. Perfect, right? So, for whatever reason, he scaled a lot lower than everyone else. Also, now it's kind of hard to read the text because of the green. No, I think I'm just going to put the camera back up. Anyway, I should be able to do the next 10 floors. And that just goes to show you how impactful... Unlocking the Mystic is. In fact, I don't have to cast on single enemies. Four enemies. You know what? Never mind. This probably ruins us. So I want to heal, but I want to clear two of them. I need to take the chance, because we have to clear two of them. Well, actually, we don't get back damage. I can only clear one of them. Hmm. If I get a crit, I didn't get a crit. So, yeah, that's not good. And we got KO. Ah. I think there's still a way to, to get to the boss. We'll see. If I can get to the boss, I get to the boss. Okay, so we've just made it to the boss. Problem is, I don't know if we have enough damage. Definitely have to land the poison. Please. Damn it. Uh, I focus on healing. With back attacks, maybe. Once you get this boss to a certain range, he just heals. And as long as you can do more than 20, I believe it is, we're fine. Yeah, so now he's healing for 20. And as long as we get him down the same amount, he will just loop infinitely. Except he chose not to, apparently. Normally loops infinitely. Must be if he heals to a certain threshold. Either way, we got the boss done, right? Despite losing everyone, which is good because we get a ton of money. We get basically, yeah, just a ton of money, right? Because you saw how costly it was to hire everyone. We have to do that over and over again. So normally, right, in the speed run, I just hire a ton of mystics and that would do the job. Can I, can I get a little bit extra gold? I might be able to get a little bit extra gold. You do do a lot of damage, but this is where we start getting good drops, right? And being an armory and such, they actually do drop good weapons and, and items that we want and where we're losing people. Yeah, so you do need the Mystic, the MP. Nice thing is the levels though, hopefully the Mystic levels up too. Nope, just getting any increase to the MP is really impactful. Crafting materials, food, items, because we do actually want to upgrade the kitchen too. Yeah, so these weapon unlocks, I'm just going to save for just powering through the next dimension. So I'll leave them. We just hire like usual and continue the progression. I'll probably just show the bosses 
right? That's probably the best way to do it. Look at that. We lost like 400, 500 gold-ish, which is sad because we want to we craft all these goodies so we have versatile weapons. Even just buying a star for the Mystic is nice, right? Even though it is lower damage, the 5% boost does actually work this early game. Can we craft anything else? Gems. No. Okay. Any other... I guess the silver necklace is also super impactful, but we don't have silver. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue grinding away. And of course we run into an ambush straight away, which just sucks. We couldn't even KO it. So we basically just lost gold on that run. Yeah, because we didn't even get a single item. Fun. Okay, so we actually made it to the boss thanks to a war, which is actually super bad. So what it means is our gold is trash, which in terms of rehiring makes it, yeah, again, just awful. We should be able to do this thanks to the casting, right? Even if they KO mostly everyone. So at least it's another 10 floors cleared. Yeah, I just, I don't know how to feel about the gold. I definitely have to, have to do early runs again, just so I can hire everyone. Oh, we got a saber though, so that isn't a weapon upgrade, but there's no way I can do even a single enemy with just the two people. Yeah. Yeah. But I do think it's super important we try and get the thief, mainly because then it gives us a high chance of getting a full comp without having to use the, the bed to refresh, because it's just, it's so much gold. But it is also worth continuing to upgrade Tavern. Hmm. We'll do a little bit more, right? And then I think it's also really important that I... Oh, it's already set. Save enough keys and then Healing Fairy. Ha. Ah. All right, but the thresholds. So because we want MP slash they don't come across that often, I'd rather use the keys than not use the keys. So we'll set it to the lowest, which is 5%. No, 100%. 100%. Yeah, there we go. Ah. All right. Well, I'm still going to grind. Oh, do I try to progress? Our comp is looking okay, it just doesn't feel progression worthy, slash also maintaining enough gold. Ah, we'll, we'll give it a go, we'll see if we can get to the boss again. And we actually managed to bend up an ambush. So as long as we're not getting one hit, we can sort of recover, which is good enough. But we will run out of MP, that is the sad part, right? We can definitely only do 10 floors at a time right now. Wow, look at that, we actually made it. And thanks to a healing fairy, we might actually be able to progress a little bit further. Now, I definitely need the max damage off of the Mystic. Give me a 20. Do your AoE. Yeah, perfect, because it's also really low damage. Do I heal through it or do I try and KO? I think I try and KO. No, I do heal through it, because I should be able to KO off, off these two, I think. Nurse takes the priority. Eh, I don't want to cast. Please be enough damage. Thank God. Okay. So we might be able to do to 90. I definitely don't think we can clear the boss because the boss gets drastically harder, has so many just high damage attacks and AOE high damage attacks. But at the very least, we can get, I don't know, some loot. Oh, we got the magic powder, which allows us to craft the frying pan. Now, do I want the frying pan on the next dimension? That's also the question. Anyway, we'll let it run and hopefully we don't get KO'd. I know this guy can attack two enemies or two people and there we go. Yeah, okay. Already signed full part. Yeah, we didn't get far at all. 83. So we need to now sort of focus on HP, which means the upgrade I'm actually looking at is going to be this. The, what's it called? The kitchen, right? Where we need gold and some food items. But we get a 2% boost to uh, HP. It's not huge, but it definitely helps. I think that's what we grind for. In fact, look at that, I have enough gold. So we can do that, and then mushrooms and a K. I think that's better than going after the, the thief, yeah. God, that text does not look good right there. Can't even move that much. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna grind gold, I guess. Okay, so we actually managed to get some pretty hefty upgrades from the blacksmith. We got the frying pan, I decided to craft it, right? If we're gonna grind, we're probably gonna get the materials again. But we got a power glove, which is actually enough damage to boost the mystics uh, casting damage and then we also got demon armor which is also a substantial amount of extra health so everyone's sitting kind of above 20 right except the nurse almost there we'll grind out a few more things in fact is there a piece of armor i can craft the vampire suit nope we have iron we have bone i can make the leather armor but that's that's not really any hp at all i think i'm going to start at like 40 since we need the food items and then hopefully we can get Decently far out to get enough gold to actually upgrade the kitchen. Now the kitchen upgrade, a little bit short with the next one. Could have maybe saved 
Ooh, the thief. But I think the kitchen upgrades will be worth it. Usually I, I don't think they are because it's it's hardly any HP. But it's just so vital that we survive a hit, right, every round so that we can heal up. It would be nicer if we could heal everyone, but... Well, we only have two heal slots. So even running uh, another person is kind of weak because we can't actually keep them topped off. But we're, we're stacking up items, which is nice enough, right? Equipment. In fact, I should always check what the shop has because, yeah, magic ring, useful. Uh, the steel actually allows us to craft, what weapon was it? The fist. Yeah, if I make some iron. So that is definitely worth it as well. Right? Anything else? Could probably go for bluesmithing crystals. Upgrading might be the go. Hmm. Anyway, more grinding. Looks good. Having full slots, well, not that you can see down here. But the ring is really impactful because of the MP, right? Allows us to go a lot further with the Mystic's AoE, which again is the pinnacle of our damage at the moment. So again, still gonna start from 40 for the gold and the food, and then go as far as we can. Well, thanks to the upgrades, we made it all the way around, aside from losing the nurse. Unfortunately, we just run into a healing fairy. We could have, we could have gone pretty far, right? Because uh, we have tons of damage now, thanks to the power glove. So we're pretty happy. I mean, I can do this for a bit of gold. Always take care of the red knights first. Again, they have that double attack, that pesky. 20 damage across two, which is really bad, mainly for healing. And then an ambush. Don't like our chances. We got, th uh, we got 3k, so I can grab the thief. Or I can continue with the upgrades. The thief will definitely be necessary overall because we wanna we wanna end up farming. Mm. Oh, dagger! Never mind, we're not grabbing. I can't use another power glove, so there's no point in buying it. But the dagger is definitely valuable. All right, well, I'm probably not grabbing kitchen upgrades. I'm probably doing one more farm run and then buying the the thief. I think. Okay, we got enough gold, so 3k for the thief. And I'm gonna refresh straight away to try and find the more expensive classes. So Thief, Nurse, Mystic, So Junkie. 184 gold isn't horrible. Where it comes into a bit of an issue is, oh, never mind, when we have to continuously reset. So we have a full comp now, which I think means we can start properly clearing. We'd still like to get some more of the kitchen upgrades. All right, let me equip. All right, looking okay. Equipment's spread a little bit thin, right? I'm missing a chest piece and a shield. You per chance of anything? Yes, perfect. Can we craft another chest piece? Or, no, it's just the leather. Where's the least HP? 24, 20. Nope, doesn't matter. Eight, yeah, 32. So it's it's kind of a bit bad having the nurse be this squishy. It's actually kind of really bad to have the nurse be this squishy. You know what, swap the shields. You can have that, you can have that. 23 is a bit better. Yeah, but other than that, we're looking okay-ish. Do I grind or do I go for the 80? Problem is the hiring cost again. You know, we'll, we'll go for 80. We'll see how we fare. I'm probably going to do it manually, right? So if we see a red knight, I can turn off auto. Oh, we get two of them, so it doesn't really matter. But as long as we're clearing an enemy every time, we're happy. With the crit, we're super happy. I'll almost, almost be able to fully clear. If I cast with the mystic, we should be fine, right? Because we're doing 20 to both. Then hopefully we can try and crit the high HP one. If we don't, we can finish it off with this guy. Do you do 19? You don't do 19. And damage is still a bit iffy. Anyway, hopefully we get to the boss. Okay, we got to the boss. Can we do the boss without losing anyone? Because I'd like to progress. So we haven't spent that much MP. Don't think I need to heal. I think I just need to push damage, right? Most damage possible. If we get lucky on the crits, there's a chance. No, definitely two rounds. Okay, but no one got KO'd, so that is really good. Means we do get to try and do the Dark Lord. Can we do the Dark Lord? Hmm, this will be interesting. Our single target damage is really good. Our AoE damage, not so much, right? So we do take chip damage, but we still have a decent chunk of MP. We got a key, so there's a chance we get a Healing Fairy. You know what? I, I feel like we might be actually be able to clear the, the dimension right now. Okay, so we actually got the Dark Lord. Now, as long as he puts his damage in the correct spots, we should be fine. So we don't want single target. We want the nice, slow Shadow Slicer, AoE. I think it does like eight. Yeah, that's a little bit bad, especially because we have to play around the poison. And I wanted to, to try and poison him. Well, in fact, I could have actually, right? I could have used the Healing Stone. Still, I think we have enough damage to get this done. I should have used Nailed It there too. Shadow Slicer, that's perfect. That's what we want to see because it's just, it's such low damage, right? Basically just allows us to out DPS him so I don't have to worry about healing. Well, we got the poison too. 
You know what? I think we're going to be fine. This should do some 20s. It should be one more round, I think. Right, 26, 24. I don't need to pilfer. You're going to take the poison damage anyway, which was 30, right? Again, on bosses with high HP, it's actually a huge amount. And we're done, basically. So that is Dimension 1 sort of done. <laughs> There's a, there's a fair amount of grinding I want to do, right? Some unlocks to get before we progress, just to speed things along. It's better to do them now than obviously re restart with zero. So we have some gold, which is fine, but we need a decent chunk more. Oh, we can unlock the portal though. So basically what we want is bag resourcefulness, definitely the starting key, so that's already 4K. Then buy out some stuff, right? A little bit of iron. We actually don't need as much as I normally grab because we can't, you know, just craft six swords and use them straight away. But then we also do want some of the main upgrades from the tavern, mainly the kitchen. I'm not gonna go for anything crazy like inheritance, just some of the smallish stuff, right? Maybe max out the, the table and stools. Now, the big question is the magic clock, right? So there is a way to to use it endlessly. If you force quit the game before you exit a run, it will save your progress and it won't use a charge of the magic clock, which means you can keep the free one all the way to the end of the game. And I usually do that, right? Because it is just such a boost in speed. I I feel like since I'm gonna do that anyway, I might as well just cheat myself the gold to buy it straight away, right? Once we unlock it and then I don't have to worry about it, right? We can play normally, we can play with better speed and have a, all around better time, right? The only difference is whether or not I'm cheating using using gold or cheating using the quit out to, to conserve the charges. Either way, I'm gonna grind up gold, but we'll leave this one here for today. So it's it's gonna be like an hour or something, two hours. That's not good. <laughs> it's so slow. And we've still got farming to do. But yeah, dimension one done, right? So we're off to a, a good start. Again, should be nice fun, should be a perfect way to actually show off everything equipment and and classes right classes that never really see any love but we'll leave it there hope you enjoyed see ya